Hello everybody, Carla Nicole, Carla Nicole, I'm not going to be on here long, listen, I'm on my, on my lunch, but I wanted to talk about something because I, as a coach, am getting really excited because a lot of my clients are now um, having love affairs, um, they're having new interest and, and, um, and they're starting to get back into their, um, you know their groove since they've been working on their self work and doing their work has actually um, served them well because now they're starting to connect with partners or partner choices that more match what they originally wanted, which is to be with somebody that is going to be, I mean, not just for the short term but for the long term. So I wanted to talk about this real quick because I know a lot of people don't realize the power of doing the work and doing the work well when you're doing it. <laughs> and, and here's the thing. I think sometimes when you think about the love affairs that are now starting to surface, people are starting to get more involved with new people and stuff like that. I know that it's exciting. I know that you feel like, man, I've done so much work on myself. <laughs> I am so ready to have some kind of interest and person that I want to be with, which is a great thing. Thing is, we have to sit back and look at, well, yeah, we have now a new interest and a new lover and, and we're getting our new thirst in life and things of that nature. But now that you have that, um, we now have to think about what are our word choices that we're using when we are now getting involved in a relationship. So I wanted to say something to you guys really that's really important that I don't think we realize. Words have power. So when we are involved in relationships and we're considering being with someone, we have to be careful what words we're using when we are now advancing into our love affairs. And like I said, I'm real excited because I do I did have the um real cool engagement with one of one of the people I coach, he actually introduced me to his his um, new love interest. And I thought it was really cool because I was able to now um, be a part of their newfound um, love affair, which I think is cool and very important. Um, seeing how as a coach, a lot of times people kind of hide me because <laughs> they don't want their love interest to know, hey, you know, I've, I've gone through some things and I'm trying to fix some things and there's some things I'm working on. So a lot of times when you're in the newness of the relationship, a lot of people hold me back. They don't tell their love interest that, hey, I got a coach that I talk to and that I work with, which is fine either way. But I loved having the um, opportunity to meet, you know, her and everything. And one of the things that I think is vitally important that I bring up is that when you are in a new love affair, you don't get so excited and overwhelmed with the newness of it that you start to feel like, I'm good. I did all the work and I put all the time in for me. Now I can focus on him or her, which is true. However, <laughs> as your coach, you know, I got to give it to you raw and true. You cannot now sacrifice self and sacrifice your own um, self works because you're now in, involved with a new love affair. You still have to prioritize, still meditating, still doing your journal work, still met, um, doing anything like your spiritual um, practices. You still have to do those. You don't put those away and say, okay, I've been now awarded for my hard work and doing all my self work and all my love for myself. Now it's time for me to set it aside because now I've accomplished now having a love affair. It's a great thing. Love affairs are beautiful, yes. However, I don't want you guys to lose sight that you are still vital and you still should be priority, priority when it comes to this new love affair. Like I said, spring is coming. People are starting to connect. People are starting to fall in love. People are starting to get reacquainted with their sexy side. You know, clothes are starting to get, you know, shorter and stuff. I get it. Trust me. I get it. We've been on, you know, quarantined and things. I get it. And I know that people really desire to have a new love affair and connection, which is fine. I get all that. But I don't want you to lose your love affair for you. Okay. So still prioritize for yourself. Still be focused on what 
you have in plan for you. Still don't lose your thirst for life. Don't lose your thirst for learning about what you want to do and still have a life outside of your new love life, okay? It's very important because even though you have a new love life and a new thirst for life and you want to get your sexy on and all that, even though you have that in place, don't lose focus of still making sure you are doing the work you need to do. Still take your time out. Still, and anybody that you're involved with at this point, if they're in your life and they are now interested in you, be up front now. Like I do have some spiritual practices I do. I do journal. I do meditate. I do have prayer time. I do have time that I spend with my friends and I do things. Don't lose yourself, your sense of self and your sense of focus on you because you now have a love interest. Okay, so that's one thing. Now also be careful what you say. Like I said, words have power. So the thing I wanted to bring up is sometimes we say things and we don't realize when we say them that the ideas that we are putting out in the universe with the connection of those words can really hinder or help the relationship. So I wanna give you guys something that I have happened to me all the time as a coach. People will come to me and tell me, listen, coach, like I got a new lady or I got a new man or I got a new, you know, flair, um, a new interest or something. And they oftentimes tell me, but um, with this new connection, I have trust issues. Or they'll say, you know, I, I, I like this person, but I'm not really ready for a relationship. These words have huge energetic impacts on the way your relationship by design is going to go. So if you come into a relationship, new or not, you will understand that your words that you say out of your mouth have power. So understand this, when you say something like, I have trust issues, step back off of those words, man. When you say you have trust issues in other people, it's not about the trust in other people, it's about the trust in yourself. So this is why it's imperative that we watch what we say. We see a lot of words go across our screens on social media, on the television, on billboards and signs. So when we see words, we just start saying them because we're used to seeing them. However, when you hear people say they have trust issues or I have issues with um, the opposite sex, I can't really trust men, I can't really trust women, I'm not sure about men, I'm not sure about women, that's because of your past. You're allowing your past to now impact your now in your reality. The thing is, if you do self-work, if you start to really focus on what you need as far as an individual, you have a life. Basically, you do for yourself. You don't want somebody else to make you happy. You're really focused on your financial health and your and your and your health for your physical health and your psychological health, your parenting health. You're really focused on those things. When you focus on those things, listen to me. You build a confidence in you. And in that confidence in you, what happens is you begin to build confidence in your decision making. When you build confidence in your decision making, what happens is you start to not have this hindrance of focus on, well, I'm not sure if I'm going to pick somebody that's not healthy for me. No, you know. At this point, no, you know, because when you do your self work and you're focused on making sure you have things in place for you, you begin to learn, no, it's not necessarily about just the fact that I'm now interested in someone else. It is now about the fact that I'm confident in my decisions because you're, you've been in your self work, you've been putting yourself first. So that means you've been studying and taking time out of just having the humdrum life and started focusing on empowering yourself, you're reading, you're, you're meditating, you're making new connections and things of that nature. And when you start to do those things, trust issues aren't a factor anymore. You're no longer concerned about if you trust another person or not, because you have now put more emphasis and more concern on your decision making for you. So when we say, that's why I'm saying, I'm giving y'all something and it's a huge nugget that I want you to make sure you go into your new love affairs with understanding. Don't sit here and tell yourself, I have trust issues or even say it out of your mouth that you have trust issues when you've done and put in a lot of work on yourself. Because real talk, when you put in the work for you, you stop being concerned about 
making poor choices because you're making more informed choices in yourself. And when you do that, you, you start to lessen your chances of making decisions, especially partner choice decisions, off of whim, off of what they physically look like, off of how much money they make. You're not, you're not so focused on that now. You're now focused on, I if this person is connected in their own self and they really are driven to do some things they want to do and have some love for self, then I can connect with that person. And I don't even have trust or mistrust in them because I don't have any more mistrust in my decision making and mistrust in myself. So this is where we start to empower ourselves because we start to build a new foundation of what it is we truly need and want in life. If you really truly need and want certain things in your life, you have to sit down and start to get more confident in your self decisions. Self decisions meaning what am I doing outside of my relationship? What am I doing outside of my parenting? What am I doing outside of my employment? Do I have a life outside of all of those things? If I don't have a life outside of those things, guess what? You don't have a life. Those other things I mentioned are your life, which means you're sacrificing self. And then this is why so many people have an issue with making decisions or with making the correct solid partner choices. Not because of any other reason, but because they lack trust in self. You build your trust in you when you start to do for you, when you start to put you first, when you start to pay attention to what you need. You can't come into a new love affair and you don't know what you need. You have to sit back and say, oh, hold on, I think I need this for me. I think I need that for me. I'm going to go get that for me. I'm going to do actions to make sure this happens for me. And guess what? When you do these kind of things, you stop worrying about what somebody else is going to do and provide for you because you're doing it for yourself. And in your love affairs that you are now increasing to have, well, you're not burdening them with trying to make you happy. You're not burdening them with the things you can do for you. They are now able to do things they need to do for them. And when y'all connect and become one and become a team, guess what? It's less burdening. They now enjoy you. They, they, they now understand you. This is why so many relationships are failing because a lot of people have, have trust issues. And then they tell me, coach, I got trust issues. It's like, no baby girl, no baby boy. You don't have trust issues in the other person or even the opposite sex. You have trust issues with you. You are unsure about you. And in that uncertainty, you concern yourself with now being uncertain with what are they going to do to me? How are they going to hurt me? And that in and of itself cost so many good start, fresh starting relationships just out of saying that comment alone. That's why I said, be very careful what words you choose to use when you are now starting off in a new relationship. When you start off with a new relationship, please, by all means, don't say I have trust issues. Don't say that. When you say those words, it is giving now a new energy on a relationship that hasn't even blossomed yet. We're in spring, right? The, 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 the birds are starting to chirp. The flowers are starting to bloom. People are starting to get excited about going outside and having fun. These are things that are great to have. However, the problem is we don't sit down and really realize that in the newness of a beautiful love affair, what we say impacts us. Trust me, what we say impacts the relationship. When we say certain things, it caps off the energy that could be allowed in to cause more intimacy to be more solid. We say things and we don't realize the words have power. So I want you guys to share this video. It's vitally important. More people need to understand when love is in the air and it's great and it's exciting and it's fun and it's fruitful. Listen, it's a beautiful thing. I am so excited to see so many of my clients starting to get in love again. That's a beautiful thing. I never tell people because I'm so big about solo and shining on loving oneself that I'm encouraging people to be by themselves. No, I'm big about being an advocate for great, functional, beautiful relationships. 
I'm not going to tell you not to indulge yourself into finding new partners, finding new lovers. It's a great thing. This is a great thing for life. Social love affairs is a great thing in life. However, you want to be more confident when you're choosing the partners. If that's what you want, then you have to first start choosing yourself first. So in your, in your selfish season or in the time that you're single and by yourself, listen, I get it. You, you, you tend to focus on you, which is a great thing. But the problem is when we're focusing on ourselves, we're losing that same focus on ourselves when we get in relationship. But you have to still continue to have a life outside of your love affair. If you make that love affair primary and you start to wither away at your focus on you and what you need, my grandson, um, then what happens is you start to lose focus on how important it is to still have separate lives. You know, it's very, very important. It's very, very, very important. So that is the number one thing and the number one cue. When you have a relationship, it's all fine, it's great, but we need to make sure that we don't lose focus on still focusing on love of self. Also, beware of what you say. When you say certain words, they have power. When you say, I just want to, I want a love affair where I have a friendship and you're not specific enough with saying what else you want. If you want both, you need to say, I want both. I want a love affair and I want a friendship in my love affair. Speak what you want. Again, the, the words have power. So in that power of words, you have to be specific as to what you want. When you want certain things in love affairs, listen, you got to go for it. And I'm telling you now, I am excited for all of the, the, my clients that are starting to build loving relationships. I am totally, totally excited for you. But I also don't want you to lose sight that just because you have a love affair, you no longer have a love for self. You have to continue with that love for self. That is important. I'm going to make you some snacks in a second, little one. So again, like I said, I really want you guys to know I'm always supportive of your love affairs. Please don't hesitate to let me know. Like I said, I'm usually I'm usually the little secret that a lot of my clients don't tell their lovers about because, of course, they're trying to build and they don't want to know all the bad stuff about or they don't want to share all of the things that we talk about. But listen, I'm, I'm all for that. But just don't lose sight of what you really, really need um, to be in a good, healthy um relationship we need to also remember that even in those times where we're excited about love and all that um just remember stay stay focused on you and what you still need so share this video anybody that's in need of a coach don't hesitate to inbox me or you can even call me at 844-5 wisdom extension zero um and we can start a, a real cool coaching uh, uh, journey together, which is a lot of fun. I am building a lot with my clients now. I'm, I'm really starting to get some really good, um, you know, relationships in alignment with self first. And like I tell people, if you really want a long-term relationship to live on beyond just three years or you're really wanting to have that long-term relationship. You want a relationship that's going to last, be lasting. There's certain things you got to do for you first. And number one is you got to make sure you know you, number one, what you need, number two. So these are important for knowing in order to build a long-term um, relationship. So that's vital. Like I said, just be careful about what your words are. Do it and, and, and trust yourself. It is okay. Trust yourself. If you think that, you know, I, I'm interested in somebody, they kind of match where I'm at. I've been putting in a lot of work on myself and they have as well. Then go ahead and, you know, definitely indulge. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't get to the point where you don't have confidence in your own trust of you. Because when you lack confidence in you, what happens is you start to lose sense of self. I'm out of here, guys. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Have a great day, guys. Bye.